2017 CRV visually inspecting out brakes you're not really going to see a lot through a camera's view in person you'd be able to see this so we get a nice close-up look get some tools I'm just gonna pull that wheel and look visually this way I can see a lot better I don't have to get grease on there and and this is my rear brakes. I do got some life. I should not change them. But let's get a 12 millimeter. Righty is tidy. Lefty is loosey. And it goes on to the slider pin bolts located right there. They're a little bit stiff at the beginning. So I give a little tap. And off they come. And I take off the next one. It's simple as that. Take your time with the right tool, use a breaker bar if needed. So as this comes off, now the motor, the ABS part right here, is that's giving you enough room to work with. Uh, you just remove the bolts, just be careful. This is all new to me. I slide it out, I lift it up, and I do my best to get things out of the way and comfortable. Over time, things do get corroded and wear and tear. So it came off pretty easy, and I place this to the top. Be careful with the hoses and the wiring. So as you can see here, the brakes, they're spread apart. Pay attention to those spring clips and the retainer clips, and you want to make sure you have some freedom and things come out easy. I'm pointing at the clips. Pay attention to which way the fronts are. And the rears are so I'm going to place this one away to the side and the rear one I'm going to take off as well you should pay attention to how things are look at every single detail because later on you're going to want to know that so I take Malakot 77 and I put it on the new retainer clips that I just popped off they're not that hard to do you saw me do it on my previous front brake job I could prepare this all before. I'm doing it right now. There are two clips per break, a lower and the upper. So as I prepare it, I don't need a lot, and I don't need a little, and I'm going to put them back on by simply applying that amount of pressure. It's that simple to pop back on. Just be careful not to cut your fingers on those sharp edges. So as they all prepared, the bottom and the top, so here I am getting ready to do my next steps. I make sure everything is fit uh, firmly and I'm prepared to check all the pins in the areas that nothing's bent. So here's my pad. You see I sent the notch and you see how I'm putting it in and those uh, spring clips are facing on the outside. It's a little tricky. You don't need to really uh, do much to this, but just the right amount of pressure, and they will snap in. That's the way they came off, and that's the way they're going to go back on. So I'm pointing out, showing you the inside, and once you get the hang of this and the feel of it, they will snap in. Take your time. Don't rush. We want to make sure they spring back and forth, like so. They have to be off for the brake pad for the rears. And that's the way they are. It's the way they're made. You can see how nice and springy they are? Oh, yeah. So as I now go to the slider pin boots, take your time. Pull the boot away from the slider pin. Grab yourself some malachite, whatever tool you have to put it on. I'm using a Q-tip, and I'm putting some on, and you do this spring and fall. Every time you do a tire rotation, you should be doing this. Oh, people don't do it. That is your scheduled maintenance. All these little knickknacks means a lot to a good car. So that's what I'm doing here on the top one. You can see I'm taking my time. These boots will rip. So be careful. You can replace the boots just to get these parts. You don't pay a lot of money for it. So as the Malakot's going on, uh, just be careful. It's not product 64, 65 from California. You know the story for that. I pop them on. 
and I'm getting ready for my next step. I'm all done, malakot, completed. So I clean up with a little brake cleaner before I start to prepare for the caliper going on. I put a little spray, don't get it on your hands, does a good job. So you see these notches that I'm pointing at and taking all that dirt that gets into the caliper? Look at that. All that filth and dirt. I'm going to have to figure out what to do. So I take my fingers and I get rid of it. And then I take some brake cleaner and I make sure I clean it. Just be careful about rubber with brake clean. Uh, it'll melt the pixie cup in a heartbeat. So I clean it up thoroughly, get all the junk out. So you need a special tool and you want to make sure that the caliper is going to go on. It is out. So I need to figure out how to get the caliper, the ABS housing on. I call it uh, a number of things. You can check online for it. So I'm all set up squeezing my pads, figuring out what that little hole is. It rotates around and there is a notch. Remember I said about that notch, it will fit into that area and that will stop you from doing your caliper. So this caliper, you need a special tool. You can press it in, but I'm going to use a channel locks. The key here is to make sure it's clean. If it's perfectly clean, it's going to go in. So here I am showing you that, that area where the notch is going to go. So I grab my large channel locks, my crescent wrench, and I simply squeeze it back in. It is that simple. So now I look for that notch, make sure it's on a 12 and 6 o'clock position, and I line it up to the notch in the center over there where I'm pointing at, and I'm getting ready to put my caliper back on I line it up, I work it on with all the room I got, I do the best to get it on, I take my time, I slide it over, and then I line it up with the slider pins. Once it all goes on smoothly, you may want to grab a crescent wrench to hold the slider pins inner side, and I put everything on back the way it came off. So as I tighten up with the 12 millimeter ratchet, righty tighty, be careful. You may slip and hurt your hands. So take your time, get the things done. So everything is all on there and done and completed. It wasn't that hard to do. I just wish the sound of my camera was working. I didn't have to narrate this, but heck, it shows you that the job is done well. So <clears throat> what can I say? Again, I uh, emphasize, take your time, lay things down, make sure you have a good plan. So as I get ahead, getting ready to clean up, I do my last look around, I clean and I spray and I finish up. In my conclusion, this is a little harder than to do the fronts. You gotta be a little careful, a little less room, Everything worked out just fine. I could have let this go for another 30 to 4,000 miles. The rears are not like the fronts. They did not decrease the amount of brake pad. And I'm surprised on that. So there is a good thing here. You do the fronts, do the backs every other. So the wheels rotate and I go in the car and I start to press the brakes. I had 29,000 miles, 28,964 miles. I'm pressing my pan and I'm getting ready for a test drive. As I go around and do it, yes indeed, I'm making sure that I am not stopping hard. So here I am, making a stop, making my turn, going around the block. So my brakes are good and I'm happy they held. On that note, I thank you for stopping by and I hope this video has helped somebody out there in the near future. Have a great day on your brakes. Enjoy everybody on the 2017 Honda CRV rear brake job.